When you get your new tabletop radian laser system, you're going to have to do some assembly. The first thing you're going to need to do is install this tower. There's four bolts that will attach to the tower from inside the cabinet. You have to open up the cabinet with a key. You should get two of these with your system. The four bolts in here. Make sure that when you install those bolts that you get the tower aligned properly, nice and straight, relative to the mounting table. You're going to also have two screws here that secure this plate uh, from the tower to a small bracket that's already installed on your system when you get it. The other thing you're going to need to do is install these brackets. There's a number of bolts, two on each side here, two here, two here, and there should be another set underneath the head that you can't see. Then the head also has four screws or four bolts that get installed. Make sure that your laser head is biased uh, in a way when you install it, that it's, um, it's set up so it's nice and straight front to back. You want to make sure there's some good alignment um, with the laser head relative to the tower. You don't want it to be crooked or else your marks could end up being crooked. You're also going to need to install this monitor arm. You need to take this cap off first in order to get to the base. And take the cap off so you can take this piece off so then you can install your base, otherwise you can't access the screws. And then just reverse the process once you get this installed on your, on your tabletop. Uh, put the bracket back on, put the cap on, and install those screws. System also has a place to plug in your rotary. If you bought rotary, you'll plug in here. You have a foot switch that came with the system. You'll plug in the back down there. You've got a place for your keyboard up here and your computer down here. And then your power supplies and all that and your laser source are actually mounted in the side over here. Make sure that your e-switch is popped out and that your key switch is turned on and that your system's plugged into your computer before you open the software.